Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this model. It's a request from a follower and I would like to model for him. Also I would like to share with you. We open a new part and on top plane we create a new sketch. First we place here one circle and then one line then two other line. They will have something like this on the screen and making everything cross-section geometry. We can place some diameters now. Here we have 70. Here we have 135. I click three, two point, and this line, take three object and make symmetric while my control is pressed. And then I will select this two line and I will go to circular sketch pattern and entity is already selected in the area where they are going to be selected and 12 instances and after this option just going to pick two point again while control is pressed and merge them we have one more problem we should make one more time constant and lock our old sketch now we can keep this two again the construction geometry simply clicking on them and converting them back it can be good to have one another outer diameter and a line from here to here when we are opening any plane or uh, extra operations always good to have some control points Okay, we look at the top. What do we see? Two times circle, one line, one line again, and our main object. After this operation, we are going to close our sketch and we will use a plane which will be in this direction. This is here you know, my uh, computer right plane. And I will create here a sketch and I will select here this line, this point to create a line. Line from here, sorry, a line from here to here, and then a line continues like that. If you look from that uh, projection, you will see something like this. Let's combine these points also. Later on, we can make this a horizontal line. This will be converted to construction geometry. And we have a height of 70, here 55, and here we have of a diameter of 16. This is good. And we close this one. Now, we go reference geometry, plane, select this line, and select a top plane, which will be normal to that plane. And after the operation, we go select plane, the plane active, create a sketch more there. Simply, there will be here one line, and I'm going to look normal to. Yes, and we can make just coincident on this line and then convert this line to, into a construction geometry. Later on, adding a diameter which will be 70. What can be nice to distinguish these items, giving them some color, sketch color. Let's make this one green. Like this guy to make white is uh, red is good. I think to create really high contrast. And then another can be maybe something bluish or black. Black is good. So we have three different sketches. Now we are going to create a 3D sketch. Then what we do? Simply combining this two point. You see there, from here to here, 
and then from there to there. Now we can go to surfaces, go to surface, right click selection manager, and this select group will be active. This one now selected, and then selection manager again, and this one selected. Now I did create here a surface. After the separation of the surface, select this edge, selection manager, this line. I do select it directly, but when I'm selecting my uh, sketch, I do open the selection manager because the sketch in fact contains two items. That's the reason. Here, after the operation, SOLIDWORKS will automatically hide this. That's why I open again. I select edge, right click selection manager, and select line. And then if you change your control point, you will have that nice model. White plane was our plane. And I'm going to make here a mirror. I have three body, this one, this one, and this one. That's great. Now what we can do, create here an axis, selecting axis, selecting this existing line of uh, our sketch. And hiding all sketches now, which is unnecessary for us. Take this one, select axis, go to circle pattern, go to bodies. This will be our bodies. We have six body and 12 time instances. Surface, hit surface, we need everything. And here I will select an edge, open loop, planar surface, and create one more time a surface. Now we will be in it again. Maybe you are thinking why he didn't a need operation before knitting and knitting in one time, but then we have one problem. After this operation, I cannot make an open loop. I cannot select all the edges. Yeah, you can do that one by one, but I don't prefer that. And simply that's the reason why I made them uh, knitting. And then the option, now last option will be taken. One tick, according to the, in the middle, both sides, one, one. And then our model will be completed. Yes, that was it. Thanks for watching this video. If you do search something much more challenging, please do visit my channel. If you like, please do make comment and hit the like button. It will be very much appreciated. See you in another video.